tired is for the weak. Mentally strong, go. And how it has reached this point now where you're on the garden floor hearing MVP chants and you're going to the All-Star game. I mean... Brunson trying to draw a foul, puts it up and puts it in at the buzzer. A winner on all levels of basketball, Jalen Brunson is returning the Knicks back to NBA relevancy for the first time in nearly two decades. This is the story of how Jalen Brunson navigated through the basketball world to NBA stardom. Brunson was born in New Brunswick, New Jersey and was raised there until 6th grade. His family moved around 7 different times before settling in Lincolnshire, Illinois. Well, I'm gonna throw it to the fence if you don't jog back. Follow through it up. Go back. Jog back. Up through the legs. He's the son of former NBA player Rick Brunson, with an NBA career lasting almost a decade long. He was a hard-nosed coach as a father that pushed him into being a better basketball player. You might player. take another dribble. Go. Spending time around his father really helped him mature and develop as a basketball player, as he was a stud in high school basketball. As a freshman, he was all-conference honorable mention, but it was really his sophomore season where he started to break out, where he led his team on a 19-game winning streak heading into a matchup against Jabari Parker and Kendrick Nunn in the state championship game against three-time defending champ Simeon Akata. But Bronson was only held to one point in the second half, and they ended up losing 58-40. They finished the season 25-9, and with the heartbreaking loss to end the season. The following season, his team returned to the playoffs, making the semifinal with a 32-1 record and matched up against Jaleel Okafor. With still the image of losing last year on his mind, Brunson did everything in his power to win this game, setting a state record in the playoffs 56 points. But ultimately it wasn't enough, as they lost 75-68. His performances put him on the map, as Illinois and Villanova both wanted him, and he ended up choosing the Wildcats. In his senior season, expectations were high, as he was in a matchup against Jason Tatum. Although he dropped 48 points, Jalen Brunson ended up losing. Despite this, they ended up making their third straight Final Four, with the chance to finally capture that state title that has eluded him for the past two seasons. In the state title game, he dropped 30 points, winning 57-40 to and finally winning a state title. Following the season, he won Illinois' Mr. Basketball. He was invited to the Jordan Brand Classic and was also invited to the McDonald's All-American game, as well as in numerous other accolades. Brunson entered college with high expectations, selected to the Bob Cousy Award preseason watch list, and was named the preseason freshman player of the year. He was the starting point guard for one of the nation's premier teams, as the Wildcats reached number one in the country for the first time in school history on February 8th. Following the Big East season, Brunson was named a unanimous All-Big East freshman team selection, and entering March Madness, they had their expectations on a championship. In the Elite Eight, he had made two free throws with 3.5 seconds left that sent them to the Final Four. With one of the most memorable championship moments ever, they won on a buzzer beater, winning the NCAA tournament his freshman year. By his sophomore and junior season rolled around, he had turned into one of the nation's premier players. By his junior season, he was the best player in the country going into March Madness, hoping to win another chip. Jay Wright guy too, because nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. wow. He has eyes, as they say, in the back of his head. He may have one of the best college seasons ever, winning the Wooden Player Award, winning the Big East, Big East Player of the Year, and making his way to the Final Four. Really early. Oh, now look at this. Brunson making a little statement here at the start. He's now Brunson steps up, fires the three. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Does he love daggers? The Nova Nation has another national champion. I didn't, can't put this into words. His junior season, he did everything possible, winning every single award, including a national championship. His college career is one of the greatest we've ever seen. 
So surely a player like this would be the most sought after player in the NBA, thinking that he would become a future star because he completed the college game and completed the high school game. But unfortunately that wasn't the case. I've been able to go different places and win. That's the idea of the game is to go out there and win the game, not to score the most points to get the most stats, but go out there and win. And when I'm playing the game, it's just, I'm all out With the 33rd pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Dallas Mavericks select Jalen Brunson from Villanova University. It really is surprising that a player of his caliber would fall to the second round with everything that he achieved. But the Dallas Mavericks picked up a steal in one of the best NBA drafts ever, drafting him and Luka Doncic. And a Mavericks rookie won Rookie of the Year that year. Except it wasn't Jalen Brunson, it was Luka. Nowadays in the NBA, we've seen guards like Luka and Trey have crazy breakout first few seasons in the NBA, but it took Brunson a little bit of time to develop. He averaged 9 points a game his first season, 8 points a game his second season, 12 points per game his third season, while only starting a handful of games here and there. But it was the following season where Brunson made a name for himself as the sidekick next to Luka. He averaged 16 points per game in the regular season, but the postseason was his breakout. He led the Mavericks without Luka in some games to the conference finals. Brunson ahead of steam. He barrels in deep and scores! After this breakout run, he was a free agent and had a lot of suitors that wanted him, including his father. How to work when I got to the league. I didn't really understand how, to, how hard I had to work before, so I instilled that in Jalen, you know, at a, at a young age to kind of eliminate the fact of uh, just trying to make it every year. I think he put himself in a great position. The credit goes to him. He put the work in. I gave him the blueprint, but he did. The, the New York Knicks are, are certainly going to be aggressive in trying to create salary cap space so that they can go in pursuit of Jalen Brunson. A lot of connections with Jalen Brunson and the Knicks organization. His father, Rick, was just hired as an assistant coach. Their president, Leon Rose, was his agent when Leon Rose was on the agent side. Uh, Influenced by his father being an assistant coach for the Knicks, Brunson signed a four-year, $104 million contract in his hometown team, the New York Knicks, and this was truly a match made in heaven. The season before Brunson, the Knicks failed to make the playoffs, but Brunson started balling. Him and Randall formed a tangible duo and turned the Knicks back into contenders in the East. In a game against the Milwaukee Bucks, he scored a then-career-high 44 points. He was recognized as the Eastern Conference Player of the Week that week, averaging 34.8, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. His play on the court sparked all sorts of debates. Is he the, he, uh, is he the person that's going to win you a championship as 1A? This is what I'm As somebody who used to drop buckets as a small person. In <laughs> that's what I was trying to remind you of, Becky. <laughs> if, as a person that used to get some buckets. <laughs> I'm saying this as a small person. This is, this is, a, this is a game that the big and bold and t it favors that. Uh, I love Jalen Brunson, but you're going to put him on, on the level of a 1A. You're putting him with Giannis, KD, Steph. Tato. In the playoffs, he led the Knicks past the first round into the second round, averaging 27, 5, and 5. They got knocked out by the Heat, but Brunson's stellar play has gone to a different level this season. When, when we think about Jalen Brunson, we got to ask ourselves, what tier do we put him in? Right, because every single time I see him get between those lines and it's time for him to match up against other superstars across the floor, he gives them that work and he stand on business. He's been having a record-breaking season. He was named NBA Player of the Week after back-to-back 32-point -back performances, and then later on in the season, he put up 42 points over the Pistons. He also tied the record for the most 40-point games by a point guard in Knicks history and became the ninth player to score 50 points as a Nick. Oh, I was hoping I got this one. From the New York Knicks, Jalen Brunson, hey, by way of the go. Chicago kid that's yeah. came from Chicago, is now the New Yorker. First, First All-Star all appearance in his sixth season. Brunson had always said that he never wanted to compete in any of the All-Star game activities until he was an All-Star himself, which he did this year, competing in the three-point contest. Throughout the entirety of his basketball career, he's put up accolades at every single level, and it looks like he's taking the NBA by storm. What's next for Jalen Brunson in the Knicks? A championship?